All right, and hey there, Prize Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the XD Guild Darkness Let's Play. And if you guys missed out during the last one, we got ourselves introduced to a brand new character by the name of Snaddle. We'll see him a little bit from time to time here and there. Uh, but I believe uh, for right now, what we do need to go and do is that uh, after, since we went and bowed out with Snaddle, we got ourselves with the elevator key, and now we can go and rescue out with the different citizens that are also going to be here as well, so that we can finally be able to hopefully at least move and continue onwards through our next destination, which I believe that should be landing us right on over to the outskirts stands but yes unfortunately if you guys do go and see that during the last episode we lost our uh marlin for the very first time but not to worry we'll make sure that we'll get our uh, all of our team all healed up and anything because again just let you guys know this is not a nuzlocke or anything of that nature so we're all so we're gonna be okay and be fine uh we do have marlin here at level 33 and uh now i'm gonna go into too much details with the different moves here because you guys already kind of know about with everything that's gonna be going on but this is our team and uh i think oh and also too we can't forget about them with the last mom we can't forget about with caitlin as well too and uh there's everything going on for that so right now let's just go and well basically move on out of here for now and uh, i don't know if there's going to be another battle that's going to happen during our time when the uh well we have to go and uh, head down into the elevator so i'm just going to go and probably just make like a quick uh I guess maybe like a quick way I guess on over to heading back to like a gate and then just get ourselves healed up and then we'll come right back on over here towards uh to this training area right there and uh we'll just meet up with the real Justy if she is gonna be down there or not we're probably gonna get ourselves like maybe uh bamboozled again which I don't know okay so no oh I didn't want to go to pirate town not uh, hold on not to worry we'll just kind of make sure that we'll just head on out of here eh <laughs> Accidentally did a little bit of a slip up there. No, we're going to a gate. Because that's the much faster way. Now, uh, during this time of this episode for today, guys, we are going to be going and jumping into some Dark Cloud 2. And I believe this time around, we are going to be going and heading on into uh, one of the first of many of the different uh, type of gems that we have to go and try to search for. But right now, we're heading into Sedane, if I am mistaken. And we have to go through a certain different like little missions here and there to reach on over to that uh, certain gem area so that we can be able to go and pick that up. So we got maybe like one or two episodes or so just for us to go and try to literally uh head off throughout there because again those that like i want to say just for sedate alone there's just only like i want to say like only four different missions that we have to go and do for that one particular area for that star key uh that we kind of had to go and use uh and i already went and did that all off recording so you guys don't have to see me go through like that one particular area just for me to go and unlock that whole place so uh, so at least you guys are uh uh in for a treat for that one so that you guys can just go and see me just go and tackle throughout the different uh, missions that happen afterwards. But anyways, uh, alright, yeah, we have to go ahead through this stair. I thought at first, I thought that was probably the Colosseum there for a second. Every time, like, whenever I always, like, come back here to FedEx, I always think that, like, the first steps are going to probably lead you right to the Colosseum. But in reality, it doesn't really happen like that. But here we go. Let's go and finally put that, uh, oh, but it's not responding. Hmm. Well, how do we need to do something like this? Well, I know that Justy was normally here. Maybe uh, I have to go put the elevator key into this part first. Aha, and there we go. Now it can finally be opened up. Yep, so all this time there was a hidden uh, little elevator spot right here. Now, I think during the time, I think when you're playing like Pokemon Coliseum, normally you would have to go through like a little training tournament that happens throughout there until that thing, uh, until that whole elevator actually does pop up. But hey, there's everybody here. Uh, so I'm the Fennec Mayor Trust. And who are you? How did you get in here? Well, I just wanted to say that uh, their cipher is no more here at Fennec, so you're all safe. Uh, so everyone, I need your attention, please. So I guess ever since uh, afterwards, after since uh, the other previous mayor became like uh, a, a big huge bad guy and whatnot during that time, now we got ourselves with Trest now as the mayor taking place here in this area. In fact, can't thank you enough right now, but if you go, please visit me at my home later. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be very interesting. And I think by now, we should be able to get that battle CD that's inside the mayor's house. Oh, yeah. And also, too, this OST is also really great. When you're going to do like the different battles in here okay so people in the city have uh shady characters coming in going in the desert and people are just talking about it ah so i guess that is where the ss libra is going to probably be or the outskirts stance not really too entirely certain if, if that is going to be the case but 
Oh, there's a few other folks out here. I came from a gate to take my granddaughter home, but I just got defended and I was caught up in that whole affair. Thank you so much. We can go off on a return to a gate. I'm going to visit a gate with my grandma, but then those people just came and locked us up. Uh, but thank you, Prox. Uh, if you go and visit a gate, please come to the daycare. Oh, okay. A daycare, huh? I wonder if uh, that's going to have to do anything with uh, Pokemon breeding and stuff like that. Because I don't think I've ever tried that out before, if that is the case. All right, now I know that there are some hidden items around. Uh, I know there's some hidden items around out up in here. So uh, let's go ahead and try and see where I can go and grab. Ah, here we go. Bow CD number 35. Don't want to forget about this one, though. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, what's up? Oh, it's just a Bow CD, huh? I thought maybe a Pokemon came back. <laughs> no, but I'm pretty sure there is like an extra hidden item somewhere around out here. Don't know where the heck it is, but I guess that's only about it. But yeah, seems like there's nothing else that's too special. But if you want to come back down here again, you'll be able to find that bell, uh, CD right there. Okay, so Mayor Trust said to go and check on over to his house. So we'll have to go and do that for a second as well, too. So we'll go and uh, see what's happening there. Which, uh, the Mayor's house is not really all that too far away from the training school. So it's like right here. Okay. So where is he at? Ah, there he is. Oh, Brock, so good of you to cover. I so he has been saved by selfless action, so I sincerely thank you. This is more of a token, so please take it. Ooh, and there you go. And this is what you want to make sure to make sure that you go and grab out with that. Because that EXP share is going to be super handy uh, for our time. Alright, so let me just go and figure out where this is at. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, I was kind of thinking that the key items was going to have the EXP share in there. And kind of feel like it was like going to be like Generation 6, but it's not. <laughs> No, it's literally right here in the items. And we have to go and give this over to somebody. And I think, for what we could go and do right now, who's the weakest of our team? I'm going to probably may just give it over to Akami. So we'll do something like that. Ah, but here we go. Now, this is the normal Fenac City OX, uh, OST that's supposed to be here. Last time we were been here at all that dreaded, annoying Cypher OST that was going out here for the time being. There should be something flashing around at this point now. You should be able to kind of see it. Oh, okay. That's kind of weird. Normally there should be another battle CD somewhere around in this place, but I don't see it. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to go and check back that for another time then. Okay, so what do we have right now? So it's already eight minutes on the clock right now for this episode for today. So we'll go and check on this so-called... Uh, oh, there's the regular normal dude. Eh. Not dressed him as, like, uh, an imposter this time around. Now, I want to say, is this the SS Libra, or is this going to take us right to the uh, outskirts stand? Now, at some point, we are going to get stuck in the sand, which then we'll have to get ourselves all upgraded up. Yep, so this is the, uh, the SS Libra, so we'll have to go and uh, make our return back. Oh, that's not good. So you're trying to go to the northern desert, did you? Northern desert sand is very deep, and an ordinary scooter couldn't possibly make it through that sand. Yeah, that is true. Oh, but hold on, we got something here, net from Pyrites. So I've been asked to help locate missing uh, Pokemon, and it seems like it's over at the SS Libra, so please visit Pyrite and speak with our missing Pokemon owner. Okay. So we'll have to go ahead and head back over to where Ned and everybody else is at over at Pyrite then. Okay. Yeah, because I know this is going to be the second time where we do have to get ourselves upgraded by over at the Gation Port uh, area. Now, at some point, um, you know that other little girl that we went and spoke to, I think, back in Gainport? Uh, I think her name was Emma. I think that was, like, what, like, Jovi's friend? Well, at some point, I think it, when we do go back to Gation Port, we should be able to go and see that, if I'm not mistaken, we'll get ourselves with the amulet coin. So that we'll be able to get extra more money uh, for our time. Which that would be really nice as well too. Because I wouldn't mind uh, getting the extra cash that we do need. So. Pokemon owner. Would that be have to be duking? I don't know if duking is inside the house here. We'll have to go and see. Because I'm not too entirely certain on exactly who we need to go and speak to. Because I know that the one house is just right on over here. No that's not it. I think it's right over here. So let's go and see. Oh, here we go. So this is Silva. I got a feeling that the ore reasons become intense and fearful. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, whoops, uh, that's off record. Pretend that you never heard anything. Uh, I was like, I said anything like, I want to hear where ladies wear dresses. Okay. Really weird. Ah, here's Dukig. 
Uh, what do we have here? I didn't see the lad that I met. The Pokey Smuts will tell me. I better keep it, catching uh, some wild Pokemon. He's gonna catch me any rare Pokemon, bring them back to me. Uh, well, I don't have a Trapage or a Rooper or a Surskit for that matter. Okay. So I'll probably have to go and just talk back to Ned then. Because that's all that I got to hear was that we have to go back to Pyrite and that's really about it right now. Okay. Yeah, because I know that there's nothing here within the Olympus Station that we have to go and really worry about right now. So we're all good. But I'm not too entirely sure if... Uh, I think you can still be able to go and grab out the Suze Bell at this point. Because, like, if you don't do it now, you can go and do it here if you wanted. Because I think that girl will still be lost over around out here, though. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Oh, you know what? I think it's okay. Because I think if we just head up upstairs, I think we'll be alright. Because I think, uh, what was it? Like, Net was, like, somewhere, or, like, Suck was, like, somewhere down below out here. But I think we'll have to go talk to Net first, I think. So let's go ahead and head on to this area first. Oh, here we go. And I think we made it. Uh, yo, I heard what happened at FedEx and Marcia. Uh, I'm just amazed that I even managed to hold up just uh, just the hostage. By the way, that old get uh, just came here uh, with his granddaughter. He was looking help fighting for a missing Pokemon. Okay. Well, if we were fighting a missing Pokemon, sorry, uh, I'm at my wit's end. Now, you're familiar with the news about the SS Libra disappearance. My granddaughter in the ship. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is the lost Pokemon uh, about with the... Ah, uh, yeah, so it is about with the Bosley here. So, a uh, fun fact about this Pokemon is that this was originally supposed to be an Easter egg uh, for Generation 4 that was going to be happening the year following afterwards after once this game was done. Because if you guys don't know, Generation 4, I believe, came out in Japan, I want to say, around in 2006. And we got ours, I think, in 2007. So... It's pretty nice that we got, got ourselves like a little bit of like a, a Gen 4 Easter egg cameo, same with Munchlax as well. So pretty nice that they kind of left those uh, little uh, little tad bit of stuff uh, heading in here for this. Too bad that you never can't actually go and use like a Bosley for your time uh, throughout here. But I think about, I think all that we should go and just do for right now is just uh, end off the episode. Or should we just go and keep on continuing throughout here? Because I don't want to make it too long like what happened during the last episode. Because we just went into like too much different boss battles. Like we went through Egrod and then through Snaddle. And then also through all these other different Cypher battles that were also happening. It was just not stop. But let's just go ahead and over to Gateon Port. I think it, it should make things a little bit faster. Okay. Let's do it. You know that this is going to take like... A million years for us to go and walk all the way back to the exit part then. But yeah, again, if you ever do want to go and battle out with those guys again, you can feel free to go ahead and do so. Because we're just kind of like restarted throughout everything here in Pyrite. Now, I think for Kale, I think we already just went about it with him. So we don't have to worry about it again, though. Okay, so Gates on Port. I think that's where we have to go back to next. Because I think that's what I think I vaguely heard about. We do need a special part. And, oh, is Emma somewhere around out here? Because I know that Joey's friend is supposed to be somewhere around out here, isn't she? Hmm. Well, you know what? Here's the here's the store right here, so I wonder if this guy's still here. Ah, here we go. Yo, Brox, I heard for a bit. You want to go across the desert, do you? Uh, do you want to be able to go across the desert on your screen, right? You need to uh, get a conversion kit, but Grandpa's gone out again. It hasn't come back like from before. Grandpa's the only one who only knows about the parts that we carry. Oh, hold on. And, of course, we got something interesting from the news here. And look at that. There's Snaddle. And look at that. We're finally on the big screen. We're finally on the news now. You don't really get to see that too often in a Pokemon game all that too much. Unless if uh, you were doing something like a Ruby and Sapphire. And you needed to go and speak on over to the news reporters. But you're amazing. Well, I always thought that you were amazing. But I didn't know how amazing. But here you go. Uh, but here before my eyes. We also know on TV news, which is a little funny feeling. I figured it out. So you want your scooter modified so you can go and smack down a cypher, right? Of all times, Grandpa would be out of the shop as a headache. But Dr. Kamiko's the ma manor again. Okay, so we have to go back to Dr. Kamiko's now. Oh, great. And then that means we'll have to go and meet up with Jovi again. And oh, great. <laughs> More Jovi following. Oh, no. It's Mr. Varric. Or it's to say Master Grievel, out of all things. Oh, my, my, I haven't seen you for a while. I understand that you were quite a hero at Vinak. Very impressive, you hope. But again, 
I always have to say, any type of OST in this game of Pokemon XD is just really nice. All right, but anyways, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be done here. I think for this episode for today, but I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll go and head on over to Dr. Kamiko's and whatnot, and we'll try to uh, figure out exactly what needs to happen so that we can get ourselves with the upgraded part and start making our way over to the SS Libra. So I'll see you guys then, and of course, peace.